Why the wailing? We are a band of bards, ahead of our time. Musical prodigies, even. But that madman, the self-proclaimed Bishop of the Ruins, is our biggest critic. He calls our playing the Devil's Bagpipes. That strange instrument, made of bladder and bone. It does wheeze like an old woman. He drives away our audience with his doom knelling. All we want is to bring a little joy to this jilted generation. Worthy aim. Maybe he needs convincing of your talents. You would volunteer? Ah, oh, you are a lover of fine music. This is surely an omen. Oh, my ears are bleeding! Play on! Play on! Why not let the boy play music? He brings pleasure to the people. Music is the devil's wind breaking. Foul and rancid. I, as the Bishop of the Ruins, will not stand for it. Bishop of the Ruins? Is this title Alfred given? It is God given. He spoke to me as I stood one night pissing against the stones. I am his instrument to stamp out the devil's tune. Then you and I must disagree. a great service. I will compose this day into soft. Farewell. May you continue to make very harmonious. Smack my bishop! Smack my bishop! What 
see you. Look soon in there.
Nein.
You have returned to face the wall up again? Oh boy, oh boy. You'll get nothing out of me. Nothing! Insects like... Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Yeroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, sweet lord, no, no, no. He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz. The lord will smite you from this land, all of you. May God have mercy on... <laughs> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely, hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned?
Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna used to be a smuggler, hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. Garland puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Garland sees an important meaning. Garland told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? I need more time to think. Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. Come on, I need a challenger! Did you find enough clues around Grandbridgeshire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garlin betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Gallen. 
Galen. You have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny. Carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real <sighs> with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <sighs> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. I have an iron stomach and a power to that! Good clock silver, mat, and drink with it. And got later. Yeah, we are. I them away. Good clean post that, so good. Cast about this land, my friend. You, Dane! Come closer. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter. But do you dare to face the greatest battle you will ever know? Of what do you speak? I speak of a terrible and monstrous incorporeal power whose name is feared across these lands. Fergal the Faceless. The most fearsome flighter in all of Grantbridgeshire. Oh. Oh. A flighter? Is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before. Will you challenge him? I will face the Faceless. <gasps> My god! You are braver than most. Or perhaps more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That is a house. No, no. It is a den of nightmares. A pit of death from which few have ever escaped unharmed. By words. Unharmed by words. Go. Go now. And God be with you. Do not tarry. Your death by flighting awaits. Fergal will claim another sorry soul. A new victim? What fool dares to challenge the might of Fergal the Faceless? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? My next meal. Are you prepared to be eviscerated with words? I think I will survive. I am Fergal the Faceless, and I am clever and strong. But you're not. You're ugly and weak, and you're a big smelly coward. You're probably too scared to even face me, now that I think about it. Sorry, have you started? Yes, obviously. I said you're probably too scared to face me. Hey. 
It's the weakest attempt I have yet heard to disgrace me. Ah, you think you can win with rhyme, do you? Well, if you like to rhyme, listen this time. I'm very brave. My flighting is grave. I'm not a knave, and it's victory that I really crave. Your tongue is fat. You're a sprat. You whine like a little brat. And we are in a spat. Says the flighter who hides in a hole like a rat. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. Be ready for my finishing blow. I am the best at flighting. I have got powerful skills. I'm strong as an ox and clever as a fox. I'm sharp as a dozen hawks. Let me show you my skills and then you I shall kill dead with my... my skill. We are arguing as to your talent. I shall happily die on this hill. You... Uh, well... I... Uh, just one moment. I, I... I need to think. Give me time. Fergal the Faceless or Fergal the Wordless? No, you get ready. The killing blow is... It's coming. It's... Fergal? Hello? Show me what lies ahead. <sighs> Survey the area, Sunan.
traitor is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Whitman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. He's hiding at the summit of. What do you see, Sunim? Where was I now? He's hiding at the summit of the hill. I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. Show me. over here. Can't do this alone. Flapping your mouth and die! Jesus God, my
good plunder here, but I'll need help. Lots of plunder here, with the crypto. Whose help I could get it back to the ship? Rich means better than the crew. Punish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield! 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 If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. We should return to camp, before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built in new.
Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Garland killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona. My deepest thanks. And... there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of... understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grand Bridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grant Bridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? I'll be happy to have you, Drenge. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. Seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news.